Welcome guys, welcome to Socks and uh, Manu and today I'm going to show, uh, show you how you can uh, print your Laravel project or any project that you have somewhere in the repository you can clone it to your local server and can develop it further so presently I do have a Laravel project with me and it is here and uh, I'm going to set this Laravel project on my local server so the presently I have a SAMP installed and running totally fine and all you can see my SQL and Apache is up and running and if I go and type localhost I have Apache coming up so to make it working we need to uh, have the link of this repository so what we need to do we need to go into clone and we need to copy this URL so I copy this now we need to open the terminal and you can type the terminal to open it and uh, you can go to uh, whenever you come to terminal you can check which directory you're in you just need to type ls that is list and it will tell you where exactly you are if you press cd dot dot it will take you one directory back and uh, you can go back to the main directory and again check the list of the level folders now if you need to go inside any directory you can do cd and the folder name it will put you to that directory so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh first of all we need to run this command to get our repository to the local server so we need to re go to our xamp folder so presently i have xamp set up here in applications xamp hc docs and we want our, our project here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I already typed CD and then I say applications, then SAMP, and then HDDocs. So you can see that we have HDDocs, which is here, then we have SAMP, and then we have uh, applications. So that's what the path I gave it, and I hit enter. It tells me that I'm in the HDDocs now. If I hit LS, we get these folders and you can see that if we are in htdocs these are the files you can match the name here so now here what I'm going to do I'm going to say git uh, and we are cloning it says so git clone and uh, after that we need this yeah link so we just gonna put that and gonna hit enter so it will start cloning it you can see that it's already began and it is done already so if I go into the directory yeah, I have this folder and this is the exact folder which is this one so I need to make it working because I got it here because but if I go to uh, this folder through browser it will not open let me short the name of this one is too long I just give it a name uh, test so I just uh, gave uh, my project the name test and if I go to local host and I type here test uh, we get the directory as it's a Laravel and yeah, you can go to public directory and you get this error but I want a working Laravel project here so to do that what we need to do we need to make sure that we have uh, in our project in our local server we have composer and node.js working so to do that I just go to composer and just type the composer you will get the website and there here you have the way to install the composer so when I'm in here, I gave that uh, project name test, so I want to go into the directory. So I go there, I type composer. Now in my case, I already have it installed. In your case, if you won't see this, these options coming, what you can do is you need to uh, run these commands. Uh, set up the composer on your system. So we need to run all these files and these commands. Simply just put here and it will uh, look for the required files then you can go in here second command and it says install or verified now we need to go for the composer setup that will download the composer for our file which is required for composer and once that file is downloaded you can see the directory it is downloaded in so you can run the command composer at this point so it should be working now in some cases you might face problems so I, I do have a command here it is this one 
uh, if you face problem you need to run this command yeah, and uh, you can check this command in the description uh, it will correct the directory path and make your composer working if you are it's not still working so once the composer is set up we need to make sure we have node.js working as well so node.js search on google you get the website go there download the recommended version whatever version they are providing and uh, just install right presently when I click here it's giving me this error uh, it's not installing it because it's a Mac is not recognizing the publisher so to do that I just go into setting and then security privacy and here uh, uh, you can see that Node.js uh, was blocked, it says, and you just need to pass the password or the Touch ID and open this app. Now open it, click OK, and this time when you run it, it should run. It's running now, just install it straight away. Again, Touch ID or the password, it will install it for you. Now once this is done, we need to run a few commands. And those commands uh, are here. So we need to run these commands to make our project working on local server. Right now uh, we have this error, so we need to fix this up. In any Laravel project, if you take from repository to local, you need to do, you need to run these commands. You need to run a few PHP audits and commands to make it working. So I, I type clear here to clear the screen. Now. As we are already in test, which is our project folder, I can run a composer install. Uh, we are going to install the composer. The command is completely uh, opposite to this one. And you need to do is stuff like this composer, composer install. And it will download all the required dependencies, all the required configuration, whichever is required for our project. So we need to give it some time, and depending on your uh, the internet speed, because it is uh, going to download it and then install it, so it will take some time. Okay, it's all done. Now we need to uh, run the npm commands as well. So to run the npm commands, we need to install npm. We say npm install. Now npm is, yeah, this command will work if you have Node.js installed in your system, so make sure it is installed. Now hit enter, or return on Mac, so it's doing its thing now. Okay, all done. Now what we need to do, we need to run some commands here in php artisan command. These are Laravel commands, so I will run that, php key generate. Right now it is giving me an error so in the present uh, project I am missing a file which is dot env file which is basically for the configuration so the best practice is that whatever code editor you're using open your project in that code editor so I'm going to do that I'm going to go into the applications I'll look for the project I have which is test and I'm gonna open it in my text editor you can see here now you can see the old file present files here you can see the dot env file here but it says dot env dot example so we need to rename it and we need to make it dot env only because dot env file is for a lot of the configuration now it says dot env now if I go back and run the same command again it is working you can see that now we need to run the another command that we have here uh, Put it there okay now we need to run these commands as well you can run the same commands uh, in your project to set it up and then the composer dump auto load this is going to generate some files and once that is done we can run the php artisan optimize it's going to clear cache so i do that and it did clear the cache and everything now I refresh the page first and we have a permission denied issue for permission I want to tell you that whenever you work with a Laravel project in most cases you will get problem of permission in storage because 
that Laravel saves the logs and uh, it requires the permission to save in the logs. So we need to provide the uh, permission to storage folder to give the complete storage folder a complete permission. You can use this command sudo chmod minus capital R 777. Now some uh, some of you will say like 777 is not the permission you should give to your project or any to a folder in your project but that's up to you what permission you want to give either by the uh, either it's 777 or 755 for from presently I'm working on localhost on my per personal local server so I am providing 777 which is going to provide the full access so on 777 I will provide the directory and here I want to give full permission to the storage folder so any file inside it going to be having this permission so mainly this minus R it's going to do the trick and give the full permission to all the files in the storage so any uh, you need to pass provide the password of your Mac and now it's uh, it already changed the permissions so now we can refresh the page and it says now that There is this uh, SCDocs test and then bootstrap and cache. So this is the another directory where some permission issues are present. So we need to follow the similar pattern. Now the directory is going to change. Everything else remains the same. And uh, you can do the same, like give it complete permission to bootstrap folder. We gave it complete permission, now refresh. Now this error is SQL state. Basically this error means that your database settings are not configured properly with your Laravel project. So to go to our localhost database, we just say localhost slash PHP my admin. And when you are there, you need to create a database. I created that uh, test project, so I create a test database here. And I have it now. Now if you go to the privileges, you can see that uh, what users are here and what uh, so we have uh, the user root and what I can do I just need to go into our project dot env file is responsible for our configuration so we have here homestead username homestead the database is test as we just created here and the user is root as it is defined here and the password we are not using any but so I'm gonna save that now if I go to here and refresh, now it says SQL state table missing, so table doesn't exist. Now there is a PHP artisan command that is going to make create all the tables for you. That is uh, the PHP migrate, PHP artisan migrate. To run this command, may you should have some migration files in your Laravel project and the Prana Laravel project you have. Uh, that you are putting onto your local host so you just need to run this command and it's going to create the tables so you can see that it's migrated and created some tables here now if i refresh and you can see that the project that we are working with it's up here and uh, this is something i was looking for and just added here and it's working on our local host so this is how you put your any repository to your local host now you can develop it and go any further whatever you want to do with this or your project hope you like the video do subscribe because more videos going to come uh, like this and more advanced topics and do visit docs.base and uh, if you have any questions put there thank you goodbye